Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a weekend edition kit in 148 scale and copy is BF109E1. So we have a commercial sample here and it means you will get exactly the same stuff and we are going to check it together. But first of all I would like to remind you that we opened YouTube membership and we have three types of membership. So if you would like to support us now it can be done straight via YouTube. It's even better than Patreon. So if you would like to support us just check this. I will really appreciate if you choose even the lowest tire because it's really crucial for us to get the new PC. So, as for this kit, I would say that BF109E1 is quite familiar kit to some of you, because it's uh, not that new kit, I would say. It was present on the market for some time, and now we have a weekend edition. Here you can see one of the markings which are included, and box size is pretty much standard. On the side you'll find two markings, including the same which was on the box art, so it's a typical feature of weekend editions. There are no more than two markings inside and here we have some information about this kit. Nothing special in my opinion. So let's open it. It's a top opening box and this kit can be handy for this modelers who um, I would say they were interested in recent limited editions which we reviewed on our YouTube channel but they don't want to spend that much so they would like to get BF 109 e version but in a more accessible way so here we have this weekend edition and as you can see all sprues are packed into the same plastic bag here we have also the clear plastic sprues so just give me a second to remove them or take them out and we will check everything one by one. I would like to start with this clear plastic sprue because it's packed into the separate plastic bag. So let's remove it. Obviously this is a 148 scale kit so we have separate canopy parts and you can build open canopy on your aircraft. Here you can see everything closer. But because this is a weekend edition kit we do not get any masks or masks template in the kit so if you would like to cover this aircraft you will have to buy mask set separately and I would really recommend to do so because it will speed up the assembly process and it makes it a bit more enjoyable because you don't have to waste your time trying to cut exact masks for your clear parts. Next we go on with Wing ports. So here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. Overall parts division is typical for 109E kit from Edward. So we have two top halves and one bottom. We also have all wing mechanization modes separately. The same can be said about wheel wells and air intakes. And external detailing looks fine. I don't see any possible issue here. As you can see, these are recessed panel lines and rivets. And inside we have some guiding elements including these wing edges which will help you with proper alignment of these parts together. So everything is cool here. I don't have anything to say about these parts. Next we go on with fuselage halves. And these ones are a bit trickier because E version from Edward it includes engine parts and as you can see we have one piece top cooling section so it means here we have this cut out and you will have to be careful with it because it's really easy to break this thin attachment between nose section and main fuselage section I would call it so and this one piece cooling section is really cool because it makes it possible not to glue this part in place, make it removable and also you will be able to display engine on your model. So here you can see it closer, both sections and if we flip it over here inside we have some molded in details for the cockpit here on the opposite side as well. But obviously it can be detailed even more if you decide to buy separate piece set. This is a weekend edition kit so we don't have it included out of the box but you still can buy it from Edward and then your model will be even more I would say detailed with help of these metal parts. Next we go on with just give me a sec so with this wide sprue which is dedicated to various 
um, elements both internal and external. For example, here you can see ailerons, here we have some parts for wheel wells, winding gear covers, here we have also some parts for the cockpit, tail wings, rudder, and everything looks cool. Again, some of this can be replaced with resin parts. So if you are willing to spend a bit more, definitely go for this because even in 148 scale such upgrades are noticeable and your model only benefits from getting some extra brassine wheels or maybe even cockpit. Next we go on with last grey plastic sprue. So here we have engine parts and also some of the cockpit parts. For example one piece cockpit 4 and one piece propeller is also here. So as I said engine can be displayed on assembled models so definitely think about it because it's a really cool feature and as you remember on G version from Edward you have to get engine as a separate brassine set but here you get it as a standard inclusion so that's really good chance to build engine without spending any extra money. And even without PE it looks really cool so no worries just use your painting techniques and you will be fine. Here we have another plastic bag with decals so let's open it. So what do we have here? Just give me a second. Surprisingly there are two decal sheets. First one of course both are printed in Edward because it's a weekend edition kit. First one is dedicated to stencils and there are two color versions so black and red and next we have also another one for main symbols here we have all necessary decals for two marking options. You can also notice that we have also decals for cockpit, the seat belts and instrument panel and some of the swastika is included so even if this section is cut out you have this two piece assemblies so no worries it should be easy to get them together. Next we go on with assembly manual so this one is typical for Edward if we zoom out a bit more now you should be able to see it. Let's close the camera a bit. So it's a color printed brochure with parts map on the first page safety advices here as well. Next we start assembly with cockpit and also no section gets assembled here. Next we continue with cockpit 4 and pilot seat, engine assembly here, together with main gun bay. Then all this stuff gets inserted between fuselage halves. And as you can see engine is still not covered because we have this engine cover molded as a single piece part. Next we work on wing ports. And then we join wing together with fuselage and steel coating is not in place. Next we go on with landing gear. Don't forget about this special alignment typical for BF109. Here we go on with for closed nose. As you can see, see page 9. So here we have what we should add to this kit for the closed nose section. If you plan to open it you don't have to do any extra modifications. And here we have two marking options. So one, this one comes from August 1939. This one comes from May 1940. Both are from Germany obviously and here we have stencils guide for this aircraft because it's a 148 scale kit so it would be strange not to see stencils on the model. So as I said this kit is already available you can get it on official Edward website and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!